But change the perspective, and it's a different story. Indeed, when it comes to kissing, people seldom think of the germy backstory. So let's look at smooching from a bacterial perspective. Thanks to the 2014 study shaping the oral microbiota through intimate kissing, we can now definitively say that there's a lot more going on than just swap and spit. The study recruited 21 couples between the ages of 17 and 45 and asked them to snog for science. But before locking lips, participants' mouths were swabbed to measure the amount and kinds of bacteria present. Then one member of each couple gulped down probiotic yogurt, not because yogurt is an aphrodisiac, but because the researchers could use the strain of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria in the yogurt to estimate bacterial exchange during a makeout session. That's because normally saliva contains only 0.15% of lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. But after the couples kissed passionately for 10 seconds or more, the bacteria in the non-yogurt drinking partner rose to 0.54%. This led the researchers to estimate that each intimate smooch can transfer 80 million bacteria into a partner's mouth. And when we say intimate smooch, Smooch, well, that's really a euphemism for the French kiss, a.k.a. tongue kissing. So is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it depends on the kisser and his or her microbiome, the entire population of the 700 bacterial strains dwelling within the mouth. Maybe their microbiome has a bacterium that can do some serious battle with tooth decay. Or maybe your suitor has a case of halitosis with some serious breath gremlin bacteria lying in wait. In any case, introducing different bacteria into your mouth's ecosystem is generally regarded as a good thing since the higher the diversity of microorganisms in the mouth, the healthier it is. All of which points to the delicate dance of bacteria in our bodies and its effect on our health. So does this mean that one day we may undergo bacterial mouth transplants? Could kissing become a commodity? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. But what I want to know is, did the French really invent French kissing? Etymology, nothing sexier than that, right? I want you to be able to succeed at your next cocktail party, first date, or satanic orgy, so here are 10 mind-blowing factoids about sex. But when it comes to kissing, it's more like men are from France and women are from a country that maintains like really high standards for breath smell.